The annual Sunbelt Agricultural Exposition opened this week to the delight of farmers throughout the southeast. However, for James Sutton and his family, they were there to raise awareness about driving farm equipment. Sutton's son Jacob was killed earlier this year only eight miles from the exhibition site after a semi-truck hit the tractor he was driving. We're still dealing with reality, but <clears throat> Jacob was a spokesman. Uh, he was a people person. Uh, he could talk to anybody, and we tried to pick up from that because we feel uh, like this is something that he would want us to carry on. That motivation prompted local politicians to get involved, creating a program to bring the public up to speed about slowing down. We're going somewhere, we're talking on the phone, and we come up on a piece of farm equipment and, and all of a sudden tragedy strikes a Georgia family. And so we're trying to call attention to it. That's why we call it improving Georgia's yield behind the wheel. And the numbers don't lie. In the last year, 401 crashes took place involving farm equipment and other vehicles. 138 of those resulted in injury and five others in fatalities. That's too many. It's too many on any year, and it was a 33% increase over the previous year. So today, our message to the motoring public is be careful. Governor Nathan Deal shared his colleague's sentiments, saying this campaign is not only important, but timely as well. This is harvest time. We have a lot of farm equipment. Most of it is slow moving relative to the traffic on the roads. And I would just ask everybody to slow down, pay attention, and be extremely careful. With farming producing more than 64,000 jobs in the state, officials with the program say they hope people will take the Georgia's yield behind the wheeled message to heart. Matt Pritchard, Fox 31 News.